What's up, guys? Um, I wanted to make a video about this uh, a couple of days ago, but I never got the opportunity to do it. And I want to talk about this, obviously, before this happens, because if it does happen, and God, I God hope that I am wrong. Um, Logic Before Authority made a video a couple of days ago about something he discovered on Facebook. Now, whatever anybody has as far as any problems with him, um, I'm not even going to go there. Uh, this, the, to me, message is more important. There was um, a, a um, Facebook page that he found a couple of days ago that was a setup page of a memorial for the nuke tragedy that hasn't happened yet. And let's hope it never does. Let's hope this is a bunch of BS. But it, it showed April 28th. 2013. Now, as you see by the date that you're watching this and the date that this was posted, it is April 27th at 1.49 in the morning Eastern Standard Time. Now, I went to that Facebook page. It's no longer there. I have a friend of mine who actually took a, um, a cap video capture of it. So even with it taken down, they can't deny it. So it said, according to this Facebook page, it was a memorial set up that I guess people weren't supposed to find out about that said, you know, memorial service for the over 30,000 people who died in the nuking accident in Los Angeles on April 28th, 2013. Now, this could be BS, and I hope to God it is, but if, God forbid, something happens, if this doesn't show you that our government is capable of killing its own people to create panic and fear and help along their agenda, then if people don't wake up after this, there's no sense of continuing. And I'll tell you something, two things I hope happen. Either one, I'm wrong, or two is if myself and others that post this, if we were right and we prevent it from happening, then I'll be very glad to be wrong. And um, from what I've seen on some other videos, people were putting comments as saying that they're hearing that um, very famous people are all moving out of Los Angeles. wonder why. Now, I can't verify that. If anybody knows any information about that, please post that. I want people to spread this video around. Because I'll tell you this much. I hope I'm wrong. I want to be wrong. Or I hope people stop it from happening. And I'll give you an example of how people can say, oh, well, you know, if something doesn't happen, they can say, oh, well, you know, you were full of crap. Well, let's say, for example, you're a teenager living at home, and you're planning on sneaking out of the house the next night, and your parents find out that you're going to sneak out the next night, and you find out that the parents know. Well, are you going to sneak out that night? No, because your parents know, and you know they know. So knowledge and information can actually prevent things from happening. So I'm not going to suggest it is going to happen. I don't want it to happen. And if it was going to happen, if enough people talk about it, we could potentially stop it. But I'll tell you this much. God forbid this is a situation where, like they say, these Illuminati and these elite bastards have this thing which I find very ironic called the Code of Ethics, where they have to say what they're going to do before they do it. Now, how they get away with that is they say things in coded messages or put it in places that you'd never know that it was a message. So technically, they could say they got the message out. It's not their fault if you don't understand it. Like, for example, if you're in a war and you get co um, coded messages from the enemy, if you don't know how to read those messages, well, it doesn't matter what they say. They're rendered useless until you decode them. So it's the same thing with what they do. They put these things in movies, in TV shows, in like those Illuminati cards, things of that nature. And if, if you don't know how to read them or where to look for them, or even know that they're even there, well, how do you decipher them? So this Facebook page, which is no longer there, was that a message? Or was that some moron with nothing better to do with their free time to post something that stupid? I mean, they even labeled it over 30,000 deaths. So I, like I said, I hope I'm wrong. But uh, I had to get this out before that date to prove that if, God forbid, something like that happens that it's time we all sacrifice and put an end to the killing. So, that's like, like I said,
I don't want to be right on this one. I'll be glad if nothing happens. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't talk about it. What you do with this information is up to you. I'm going to make this remixable, so if you want to post it, you can do it. If you want to make your own video, you can do it. If you actually went to that Facebook page and saw it, leave a comment and let us know. Because I saw a bunch of people on there leaving messages saying, how dare you put this? And the next day it was gone. So who knows, maybe we could have stopped something. Or maybe it was just some jokester with nothing better to do with his life. But um, this is stuff we got to talk about. Because from what I understand, they did the exact same thing with Sandy Hook, where they had a memorial service on a Facebook page days before the event happened. Just as always tomorrow. Peace.